I'm Tom Tripoli and welcome to episode two. In episode one, we introduced you to part of our professional team. And before we go in and take a look at what's been going on, I wanted to give Chris Myers of Myers & Associates an opportunity to visit. Hello, West Bank. This is Chris Myers, architect for the project. I first wanted to just say thank you. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity for our design team to collaborate with you, your committees, your staff, and of course the board to help bring this project to a moment of construction. We are all so fortunate to have a wonderful contractor involved and we're starting to see the project take shape. It's very exciting to see the next steps and we look forward to sharing them with you. Take care. I'm standing in what used to be the entrance to the ladies locker room. This entrance will now become the entrance to the signature bar and private dining room. Let's go see what's been going on. Since the last time that we visited, a lot has taken place here. But I want to point out, this is a wall of electrical panels, which is in the process of being relocated. So the next time that we look at this area, this will all be gone, and this will all be open, giving us a really nice grand entrance into the signature bar area. I'm currently standing in the signature bar area. If you look back over there, you'll see Aldo. Aldo is standing in what will be our private dining room. Where Nancy is stationed, where Nancy is, is that is where the wine wall will be. The wine wall is going to provide some very important separation between the activity and the signature bar, as well as afford us the opportunity for private meetings and private dining experiences. Where Paul is standing, is he standing behind the large four-sided signature bar where handcrafted cocktails will be the norm. Mia is positioned against what currently is the exterior wall. That wall will be completely knocked down and will be a 100% opening that will open all the way, providing access to the terrace, and equally as important, giving us an exceptional view of our golf course. Our on-site superintendent, George, is here, and I'm going to ask him to kind of give us a description of what's going to be happening to this wall. George, what's going to be going on? What we got here is currently an exterior wall, which is, goes to the outside. There's going to be a column here, and this wall is going to open up approximately 12 feet to about this point. And this will all flow through to go through the existing private dining room. Fantastic. That's a very important feature, because that's going to allow us that flexibility that we're so looking forward to. So we'll be able to go from one end of the building to the golf house, all the way through for our very large events, but then be able to section it off to provide that flexibility that's so important to us. I'm now going to be showing you what, it, what used to be the men's locker room and card room, and how the demolition is going on there for the new men's locker room, and of course our new location and new ladies locker room. Let's go this way. I'm standing at the entrance to our new men's locker room and the new ladies locker room. Let's see what's been taking place. This is an active area with a lot of demolition currently going on. The ceiling is completely exposed to handle the new HVAC requirements. Walls are in the process of being knocked down. And this will provide us generous space for our ladies' locker room, ladies' bathroom area, and then there will be separation, of course, to the men's uh, bathroom area, and then, of course, the men's locker room area. Just let me show you what's going to happen here. This used to be the men's locker room to my left, and this used to be the men's uh, shower area over here to my right. This is all cleaned up and being demolition to go ahead and get our new configuration for the new men's locker room. Well, that's it for episode two, and as you can see, we continue to make some exceptional progress. I'm sure that you are as excited as we and the team are, and look forward to providing you many wonderful experiences here in your new renovated golf house. Thank you.